let's talk about BI total cost of ownership and how a poorly selected BI software is a major culprit of high total cost of ownership. So when people start with BI, they start with baby steps. Uh, typically, they have a very small project with very specific uh, needs, for instance, to have better sales analysis or better financial analysis or maybe CRM information, maybe some Excel files. And they, they plug uh, an analytic, analytics platform like you know, Tableau Power BI. Uh, it works great. It's beautiful. And they move forward. Uh, now, most organizations, as they go through these baby steps, they focus too much on the cost of the, of the analytic software. And that's actually a mistake because in the long run, that's a very small cost among the total cost of ownership. Anyhow, uh, they go through the baby steps. Uh, typically, decision makers get super excited. They start to looking at their data in an easy format. They can actually do things that before was very difficult. They get, get excited. And what will happen in the course of years is that your BI platform will grow into something like this. Um, you know, decision makers are going to start asking you a lot of more questions. They will require you to integrate a lot of your uh, data silos. You know, uh, probably the most of the ERP system, if you have CRM, a lot of Excel files, probably Google Analytics, other systems, payroll, social media data silos. I mean, in the course of years, this BI will pretty much incorporate most, if not all of your data sources. And you have uh, some kind of you know, data warehouse framework, data marts and whatnot, to bring this data together, uh, to consolidate it. You, know, you might have multi-company, multi-currency, uh, to clean it, uh, to make things fast, to make things vetted. So data warehouse will be an important component to make this successful. Uh, easy and fast. Uh, you'll have your analytics platform that sometimes is different from the beginning uh, if you didn't start really well. And most likely, most of your data will pass to the data warehouse, and some of that, some of it will go straight, uh, come straight into the analytics platform. Uh, this will add a lot of value to your decision-making process. And if you want to learn more uh, about it, uh, watch the next video where we'll talk more. Uh, uh, what it takes to extract maximum value from your BI software. Anyhow, in this current video, uh, we'll focus more on the total cost of ownership to really get this done, to really get value, value from all of your data sources. In two recent surveys, uh, one from Tableau released in August 2017 and one from us more recently, they look at uh, 15 different organizations and how much money they have invested in the course of three years. Uh, Tableau survey is from uh, seven large organizations. And um, what they did, uh, they actually uh, checked the total cost of ownership, which is the vertical axis here, and how much the, the BI projects uh, costed using Tableau versus Power BI again in the course of three years. One of the most interesting findings from the survey is that most of the costs associated with these projects were labor. The license cost was a small fraction of the total. Now, of course, being a survey coming from Tableau, I have to assume that for these seven organization, large organizations, Tableau was the right fit when it comes to the analytics platform. And if you add up all of these numbers and average them out, um, for every dollar invested in the analytics software, being Tableau or Power BI, the three-year TCO required was $10 with, the, with Tableau and $35 with Power BI. What does that mean? Well, um, in the course of three years, even though Tableau is more expensive from a license cost standpoint, but because it was a better fit for these organization's needs, the total cost in three years was, with Tableau, was 29% lower than with Power BI. I'm not saying here that Tableau will always deliver better for everyone. 
What I'm saying is because Tableau was the right fit for those organizations, the savings in the long run from the labor investment dramatically outpaced the additional cost that they have to pay in licenses costs with Tableau. So the main message of this survey, in my perspective, is do not select your BI software based on licenses cost as a major criteria. Instead, look in detail for your specific BI needs, um, your users, how they're gonna be using, are they more tech savvy, less tech savvy, and check which BI solution will be the better fit. Because if you go for the better fit, even if you pay more, you will dramatically increase the odds of making this BI project very successful, that you get your decision makers very excited, and that your long-term costs, especially labor costs, will be dramatically lower. So that's the main message from the first survey. Uh, when we found this, when we when we learned about the survey and we were so excited about these findings, we thought, what's happening in our client base? Uh, we focus on mid-sized organizations. Uh, in the course of 12 years of business, uh, we have deployed to hundreds of these organizations uh, analytics and BI software. And we, we thought, you know, what is their average total cost of ownership? Well, eight of our clients entered our survey, and each one of these bars or these lines represent one of these eight clients. And... Um, this is a very good representation from our client base because we have uh, one very large client that put a lot of money in three years, also a very small client that put a lot less money in the course of three years, and several in between. Uh, so this is a nice representation of, of how mid-sized organizations are investing in BI in the course of three years, and of course using, in this case, data self to help them out. Um, also, uh, these bars are um, colored. So the blue segment represents how much money they invest specifically in the analytics platform. In our client base, this is mostly uh, investment in Tableau licenses. Uh, the green section represents how much they invested in our own licenses. As you might know, we augment Tableau with the data warehousing and lots of templates to make things easier and faster. Um, and the green segment, uh, the orange, sorry, the orange segments represent uh, mostly labor investment to get value out of it. Now, if you add up all of these numbers and make an average, what you'll find out is that for every dollar they invested in the analytic software, in this case, again, Tableau, our clients' three-year TCO required two to five dollars. If you remember from Tableau licenses, uh, a survey, um, it was from 10 to 35. So what's happening is our clients are experiencing a two to 17 times lower total cost of ownership in three years comparing to traditional approaches using Power BI or Tableau. So much lower cost. If you want to learn more how we deliver that, uh, please watch the next video. Thanks for watching.